All right, today we're going to go over Firestar 11. Remember, this is going to coincide very nicely with that first page of the study guide. So remember, we're doing our study guide one page at a time. And I'm trying to make sure that you guys can do each problem um, via Firestarter. It's a very similar problem. So number one, that is, there's a bunch of different ways to do this. You could do P's and Q's if you really wanted to. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to factor by grouping. So remember... When I do my GPS for factoring, I look underneath four terms, because that's how many terms I have, right here, four terms, and I see factor by grouping. So if you remember, factor by grouping says you look at the first two, and they both have at least an x squared in common. That leaves me with x minus 7. Now remember, factor by grouping says you have to make matching parentheses. So I already know that I want x minus 7 to show up here. If that doesn't show up there, then I know there's going to be some sort of issue. I notice both of these can be divided by 4, so I'm going to put minus 4 outside there. All right. Remember, this is still equal to 0. So now look, that, now that I have matching parentheses, matching parentheses, all right, that's really important because now I can go further and I could take these two matching parentheses and write them. And then whatever's left over, I write in their own set of parentheses. Now the last thing I have to do is I do have to make sure that it cannot be factored any further. This first one, x minus 7, that's done. But x squared minus 4, remember that's two terms, that's perfect squares with a subtraction sign. So actually my best answer right here is going to become x minus 7 from above. And then remember this is x and x, and this is 2 and 2. It's become x minus 2, x plus 2. Now remember here, solved by factoring, it was set equal to 0, we factored it, now we have to set each factor of parentheses equal to 0, so I'm going to say x minus 7 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0, x plus 2 equals 0. Um, keyword is Mickey Mouse. Keyword Mickey Mouse. So then I'm going to set each parentheses equal to 0, which I did, and I'm going to solve it. So x is going to be 7. Because I add 7 to both sides, add 2 to both sides, x is 2. Subtract 2 from both sides, x is negative 2. So this actually has three different solutions for x, all right here. That's it for number 1. Alright, so number 2 says divide. It's a big key to understand the word divide here. Um, that tells me we're going to use synthetic division or long division. You can use either one you want. Remember, this one is in the form x minus a. So that's, you must have that. So you could use synthetic division, all right? Um, I think synthetic division is much easier. So remember, so step one says you're going to make your synthetic division box. Remember, that's like, like the L. Um, and then you're going to put your coefficients. So x cubed is going to give me 1, then negative 4, then negative 24, then negative 48. All right, remember, it has to have that form. Now, outside the box, we always put the opposite of that. So it's, remember, that's supposed to be the opposite. Remember, we call it a dirty A. So we don't, can't trust that dirty A hanging out of their X. So instead of negative 8, we put a positive 8 outside the box. All right? So I add the numbers inside the box. Remember, this first number, you can either put a 0 there, or you can just drop that one straight down. If they're outside the box, we multiply. So 8 times 1 is 8. Negative 4 plus 8 is 4. 8 times 4 is 32. Negative 24 plus 32 is 8. 8 times 8 is 64. Um, 40, negative 48 plus 64 is 16. Remember that's your remainder. Now, once we get our remainder, we have to put our variables back in. It's always one degree less. So because we started with x cubed here, right? when I come down to put my answers back in, I'm going to start with x squared. So it's 1x squared plus 4x plus 8. And that's my remainder. Remember your remainder? goes over your divisor. So it's 16 over x minus 8. And that's your answer right here. x squared plus 4x plus 8 plus 16 over x minus 8. Alright, for number 3 I have to use long division. The reason I have to use long division is because this right here is bigger than 1x. Remember, you can only use synthetic division if it's in 
1x plus or minus a number. So it is not in the proper form, so I must use long division. All right, so remember, I'm going to pick my box. It's going to be this way last time. Inside the box, I'm going to put 4x squared minus 17x minus 1. Outside the box, I'm going to have 2x minus 1. All right, remember, we did the scratch work when we did this. So I kind of did like a little bit of a guessing game. I said, here are your line leaders, right? And I'm going to say 2x times what is going to give me 4x squared. Right? So I look at that, 2x times 2x will give me 4x squared. Now you could do 4x squared divided by 2x and would give you the same answer. Right? And that would go in your on top of your box. So this 2x right here is going to go on top of the box. Remember, I line it up. I think it's really important that you line it up correctly. Um, now you have to distribute. So I'm going to take this 2x. I'm going to multiply it by both things up front. So 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Remember, on long division, that should be the same. 2x times minus 1 is minus 2x. All right. Now I'm going to. I can't forget to change my signs. So I'm going to make this a negative 4x and I'm going to make this a plus 2x. So now I end up with negative 15x and then minus 1 drops down. Ooh, this one's going to get messy. Alright, so now I'm going back to my square trick. I say 2x times what is going to give me negative 15x because I have a new line leader. Um, this one's a little bit messy because it's going to give you a fraction. So I'm going to do, I'm going to write it in improper fraction form. So I'm going to do negative 15 over 2. Um, you could write seven, negative 7 and a half. I'm okay with that. So I'm going to put minus 15 over 2, or you write 7 and a half. That's fine too. So I do negative 15 and a half times 2x, I get minus 15x. Negative 15 and a half times minus 1, I'm going to get plus 15 over 2. I don't know why I said 15 and a half, it was supposed to be 15 over 2, which is 7 and a half. All right. Now, I cannot forget, like I said, one of the most common things I will see is people forget to change their signs. I usually do that in a different color. So I put a plus sign there, and I make that a minus sign. So now, I come up with my terms, those cancel. Minus 1, minus 15 and a half is minus 17 and a, 17 halves. Not 17 in, and a half. 17 halves. Um, you could write 8 and a half. That is totally fine. Negative 8 and a half is fine. Remember, this is your remainder because, one, we're out of space. And two, there is no way to take 2x and multiply it to get rid of an x. So your answer is actually going to be this. Your answer is going to be... 2x minus 15 halves, or you could write 7, ha seven and a half, plus your remainder, which is negative 17 halves, all over 2x minus 1. In hindsight, I do not like this problem because it has fractions inside of fractions. Um, you will not see something like that on your post test. Uh, I would actually probably do some work to make this a little bit different. Um, so what I would probably do to make this nicer is multiply everything by a, by a 2 and do some work here, but it's fine. I'll leave it the way it is. That's an acceptable answer.